Breaking news! Dire wolves are back from extinction. We're making history! We're able to witness it! For the first time ever, we've been able to de-extinct an animal. Now, I know you have a lot of questions. Let's get into it. There have been two litters born, Remus and Romulus, and a second litter, including Khaleesi, a female dire wolf. Remus and Romulus were born October 1st, 2024. It is insane. Like, we have living, breathing dire wolves. I know a lot of you are probably like, okay, is this real? Check out footage of them howling. This is the first time humans have heard a dire wolf howl in over 10,000 years. That you might recognize dire wolves from being in pop culture, from of course, Game of Thrones, I'm a huge fan, to World of Warcraft, Dungeons and Dragons, and even Little Red Riding Hood. But dire wolves actually used to be found here in North America over 10,000 years ago. They were actually much larger than our gray wolf. They were stockier, and they actually had more powerful jaws to crunch bone. This is all possible due to colossal biosciences. They're geneticists, they're scientists. They brought these animals back from extinction, and they're not just stopping with the dire wolf. They have plans to bring back the doe the thylacine, which of course is the Tasmanian tiger, and this is like the one I'm kind of freaking out about, the woolly mammoth. So how do they bring dire wolves back from extinction? They were actually able to get DNA from fossils. This is like a real life Jurassic Park. They extracted the DNA from a 13,000 year old tooth found in a pit in Ohio. They also extracted the DNA from a 72,000 year old inner ear bone found right here in Idaho. And they were able to get the DNA from these two fragments of bone. They use multiplex gene editing, 20 edits across 14 genes. 15 of those edits were from ancient DNA. This DNA has not been present for over 10,000 years until now. Let's talk about the dire wolf's key traits. Dire wolves have a wide head and snout. They have pronounced shoulders. They have larger teeth and a larger jaw. White fur color, similar to some of our gray wolves. Thicker, more muscular legs. Cold adaptive fur traits that allow them to live in really cool areas here in North America. So where do the dire wolves live? I can't tell you exactly where they live, but the wolves live on a 2,000 acre protected reserve. There's a nine foot perimeter fence keeping the wolves in. Now keep in mind they have a natural den, they have an extreme weather shelter, and they have a full-time vet and a full-time group of husbandry staff taking care of them, monitoring these wolves. But at Colossal, they wanna keep it as natural as possible. Let's talk about the conservation and the science in action. Scientists at Colossal were actually able to clone the critically endangered red wolf. Red wolves used to be found all across North America, and now they're critically endangered with 17 individuals left. Scientists at Colossal were able to use a non-invasive technology to actually clone the red wolves from blood. Wolves are a keystone species. They play a critical role in maintaining the ecosystems, not just for them, but all the animals around them, including the plants. A key example is Yellowstone National Park. By introducing wolves in Yellowstone in 1995, they were able to change the whole ecological landscape. Before wolves, elk had overgrazed the entire area, preventing trees and other plants to thrive. By introducing wolves, they were able to control the elk population, which allowed overgrazed vegetation to thrive. Recovered vegetation allowed new habitat for species such as beavers and songbirds. Beavers who built dams have created wetlands that have allowed other species to thrive. This project has been supported by many leading conservation organizations and top scientists from around the world. This project also has support from indigenous partners, including the Nez Perce tribe. Scientists at Colossal feel like they have a duty to help our planet and help bring back plants and animals that are on the brink of extinction. I am so excited for the potential to help critically endangered animals. I think there's so much amazing opportunity and the fact that we get to see a real life dire wolf. Like, 
I can't even believe it. I think the possibilities are endless. Now, of course, Colossal has said they want to exercise extreme caution. That's why they've teamed up with top scientists, top organizations. We don't want a Jurassic Park on our hands. You can watch the pups grow by subscribing to Colossal's YouTube channel and following them on Instagram. What are your thoughts? Are you excited that they brought back the dire wolf? Which animal would you like Colossal to bring back? If you like this video, as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button, make sure your notifications are on, and until next time. Are you related to a dire wolf?